All right, today we're going to do an engine start. I'm going to try to get this in frame, and we'll see. We're going to watch this PFD. What you're not going to see in camera, because I can't do both at the same time, is when I'm ready to start the engine, I'm going to push the appropriate starter. We're going to look up there for rotation of N2. I'm going to pull the little cutoff release thing, get it, take it out of the gate, basically, to introduce fuel. I don't have to wait to a certain percentage because we have FADEC. I can do it as soon as I hit the button. As soon as I light, it lights up and I see the starter relay is energized. I can take the fuel out of cutoff and it won't introduce fuel until the appropriate time. But we're going to be watching the screen for that. So stay tuned. All right, we're getting ready to start the right engine. We're looking at N2. After I hit the starter button, I'm going to be looking at N2 for rotation. All right, I'm looking. It's kind of hard to see from here, but anyways. All right, there we go. We've got N2's rotation. We've got oil pressure. We've got light off. Uh, we're watching N1. We've got rotation. And when it st it'll stabilize around 23%, we're keeping an eye for a hot start. We're watching the ITTs for a hot start. It's coming down nice and stable, not too hot. And then we get a master caution saying our right generator is offline. All right, and then as soon as our temperature stabilizes, the little temperature box goes away. We know we're nice and stable. We'll start the left side. We hit the button. We get into rotation. We get ignition. We've got oil pressure. We've got light off. We've got rotation of N1. So it's looking good. Nice cool start on that side too. And then as soon as it stabilizes, we got light off, the ignition goes off, N2 should or N1 should stop around 23%, and then the temperature will stabilize. We know we've got a good start, and the master caution goes off for the left generator being offline. I can cancel that. Now that it's stable, I will tell him to disconnect the GPU and we'll look at the voltage. The 28 volts will drop down to 24 and as soon as I know he's disconnected I can turn on my generators and do a generator check. You're just basically turning them on, turn them off one at a time, make sure the other one picks up the load, etc. So that's it. Thanks for watching.